I am here to do a review on two wonderful clean beauty mascaras today from two amazing brands. So hi, my name is Steph. I am a clean beauty advocate. I love toxin-free, cruelty-free, vegan products, and I love sharing them with you. So let's get started. First one up, I'm going to talk about, actually I'm going to tell you which ones, both of the ones I'm going to talk about. I have Thrive Cosmetics here and I have Sweet Leilani Cosmetics here. Now this is their brand new formula that was just released February 2024. And this was my absolute top tubing style mascara for a really, really long time. And I'm going to explain why and about both of these amazing products here. So let's go over Thrive first. So I've been using this one now for probably a year and a half or so. I have tried other tubing mascaras and was just not really thrilled with the final look of it. The, the uh, wearability was great, like it's, it stays on. But this one, this one is their, what do they call it here? This is their Liquid Lash Extensions Mascara. So it comes in this nice, pretty looking packaging. And it is your tubing style mascara. So what is a tubing style mascara? Let's get into that first. So a tubing mascara is something, it's a, it's a product that like precisely wraps these lightweight tubes um, that build and extend the lash beyond maximum length. So it's like little tubes that are forming all around each of your lashes. And this stays all day without flaking. It's waterproof. You can splash your face and rub your eyes and it's not going to go anywhere. So the way that you would actually remove these mascaras is with some warm water. They just need to soak with some warm water. And then you would gently kind of like wiggle the tubes so that they release. And then they just kind of come off. And that's how you remove a tubing style mascara. So using like wipes and waterproof um, remover, waterproof makeup remover is not going to do it for this one. You have to get that water in there and really work it in. Okay, so that is what a tubing mascara is. It is my absolute favorite type of mascara because it is waterproof without all of the harsh drying ingredients that a waterproof mascara normally comes with. So this one's not damaging like a water mascara potentially can be. So let's talk about this liquid lash extension mascara um, available in Canada and the States according to the website. It is $37 Canadian. Um, so it's, um, the ingredients list is a little bit longer than the other one, but um, it is infused with shea butter, castor oil, um, that helps condition your lashes. It is vegan, it is cruelty free, it is free of uh, parabens, phthalates, sulfites, and synthetic fragrance. So that is great. That is the one reason why I decided to pick this one up and try it and why it has been a winner for me for quite some time. Because uh, I like a mascara that actually stays and doesn't leave black smudges under my eyes, which I notice with a lot of the clean beauty ones. And I wanted something that was really just going to stay on my face, even if I was splashing it. In the summer, I spend my time out on the lake, on the boat, and... I like to have my mascara on. I like lashes and I'm kind of gotten over the lash extensions thing. So I wanted something that at least kind of shows and stays and doesn't run down my face and smudge all over my eyes partway through the day. So that is Thrive Mascara. So let's talk about Sweet Leilani Cosmetics Mascara. Okay, so this is their brand new formula. As I mentioned, it was just launched February, 2024. This packaging is made from sugar cane. So it's a compostable packaging. Um, everything is paraben-free, vegan, cruelty-free, fragrance-free, and this one is also gluten-free. And so I've had this one open for a couple of months now, and it is not super dried out like the last formula used to be, so it's still great. It's been almost two months that I've been using it. And so I have this one on right now. And so this one is a local beauty brand. They are available in Canada and the States. They are based out of BC, Canada though, which is super cool. And I love supporting local Canadian brands as much as I can. But at the same time, I also need products that are actually going to perform and last. And so this one also is that tubing style mascara. So the biggest difference I find with these two is this one is $20.98 online. And this one is 37 and that's Canadian. So there's a quite the price difference there. Um, for wearability, for perform performance wise, I have really found that this one doesn't leave flakes 
like this one does throughout the day for me. So this one, like they, they wipe away really easily. So it's not really that huge of a deal. But when we're talking about the price difference, well, this one actually stays and doesn't do that all day, then I'm gonna go with this one any day. And I like how it is compostable packaging as well. So it is very like eco-friendly. Um, Sweet Leilani, all of their products are very eco-friendly and sustainably sourced ingredients. They go through the entire supply chain to make sure. And they're very simple ingredients. This one doesn't have a lot of ingredients compared to this one. And so this one I do find is a little bit more like liquidy. Like this one is still a bit more like when you open them up, they look, this one looks like it's more of a drier formula compared to this one, but it goes on the same. So they both, I find just go on really, really nice. I usually do like two coats and it gives me a beautiful look all day. And so I actually have, I'm going to find my clip, but I did a little clip where I wore one on one eye and one on the other eye for the entire day. Cause I really wanted to compare both of them right back to back. Um, and so one other difference is that this Thrive one does contain a little bit of dimethicone in it, which is a silicone, whereas Sweet Leilani uses absolutely zero silicone. So if that's a big deal to you, then this is one to look at. Um, yeah, so I did that comparison that one day and I had both of them on and both of them looked great all day, like fantastic. But as I said, this Thrive one did leave a few flakes throughout the day, which not a huge deal breaker, except that the price, it just made sense that this one was the way to go for the price. So I hope that you give both of them a try because everybody is different and things are going to sit differently on everybody. But this one is definitely the winner for me, um, especially with price point and it being a local brand to me. So give both of them a try. I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments and I will post some links below as well so that you can easily go and check both of these out. Okay, thanks for watching. Come back for more.